Hello friends, I am Ashish. I welcome all of you again. Now we'll talk about very important point that is the format of exam. We need to understand that there would be different kind of questions asked in the exam. Some will be multiple choice and there would be simulations as well. So let's talk about it in a sequence manner. First thing is there would be some questions which will be single choice means you will have the option of radio button then multiple choice questions means generally they say that you have to pick two options or three options but I cannot guarantee you that if they have changed this thing they will say that pick all possible uh, answers as per your thinking you know then there would be filling in blank for example they'll say what is the administrative distance of rip fill in the black you have to enter 120 matching columns simulations in simulation you'll have to configure routers or switches whatever they say and this simulation will carry more marks generally what I have heard from people who have appeared for CCN exam they say that the multiple choice questions matching columns and simulations these carry the highest marks uh, means simulations will be your top priority generally they ask two, two or three simulations but in case you are not able to complete uh, two simulations then you can safely assume that you will have tough time uh, in passing the exam you have to put special stress on simulation then there would be testlet I will I will basically take you to a website of Cisco wherein you will be able to see how or what kind of questions are asked in the exam there would be simulation on and examples of all these questions and there would be some questions wherein you need to answer the questions after logging in into devices let's say that there's a question what is the password configured for username ABC you'd have to log in into router and do show run you'll find it out okay and this is the website wherein you can go and practice the kind of questions which will be asked I have this site opened in front of me you can simply search from the Google with this uh, Cisco certification exam tutorial okay and this window will appear it works well only on IE you need to note down this thing I've tried this thing on the Chrome it did not work well so let's uh, continue you see that it's a single choice question how many meters are there in kilometer it is just example then you have to hit next okay now I'll move on to second I'll hit on continue see it has told you to pick multiple choice like choose three so you have to pick three answers and then hit next it is a uh, drag and drop there are two there are two sides layer three router protocols and routing protocols but do not think that uh, you would have only uh, those many boxes to fill okay in this case you can you can see that there were seven options and you had to fill only six okay so you need to know a complete answer and in case something is wrong then you would lose more marks okay for a single mistake like in this case this option could not be filled okay this is the way you can also change at later stage like you can drag BGP this this option into this one you can do it and then this is the fill in the blanks that I was talking about okay let's continue now this is simulation you have to read all what is mentioned on the top it is very important don't try to jump only on the router you have to read both sides this one and that this thing okay generally the password 
if there's a password it will be cisco or admin or whatever is mentioned there okay in case it is configured you can see that you are trying to configure uh, commands in that this is the way you have to uh, th this option hide hide topology and show topology this is important once we have come to the console of one router and after that if you have to go into other router you have to click on this hide topology okay and I again suggest you have to read complete complete things let's click on try me and see see I'm able to read all the options high topology short topology and I don't know which one to configure let me try to okay this is a router and I'm able to I have to enter enable okay it doesn't let me do it whatever actually it's just a simulator you can also do it from your side so uh, actually these simulators will not be that good you cannot expect these to respond to every command okay but you can practice it is just to give you feel that this is a way you can work on simulation then there is testlet you see that they have given you some output read the output carefully and answer the questions okay how many packets were sent this is the first question not this thing this one two three four you have to answer all don't think that if you've answered one question then you move next you have to answer by clicking on this one two three four don't forget again there are five questions in this uh, in case you only answer one and then you will not be getting marks of four questions that probably you knew you know just try me let's click on this and I'm just uh, clicking on options just for showing you see I made a mistake you know what I pressed the next button uh, uh, generally if you click try me I should have used this option this then third option if I simply go into next the complete uh, question will change I mean I would not be able to see this four option means the, the question number four so you have to click on this thing one two three four <coughs> and answer every question rather than just clicking on next next will take you to okay, this is known as simulate okay you have to log in into router and give the answer you can click on the try me and these are the questions but how will you answer this question you have to log in into router see actually I'm not able to run the command because I'm not supposed to this is just a simulation so friends uh, these were the things I wanted to show you so first we discussed about single choice multiple choice fill in the blanks matching columns simulation test let and then we logged in so I hope that it's been informative to you and I would like to thank you for being have a nice day